What does the skin you have selected right now say about you? First, your king skin. The Beat King. You probably like sparkly clothes and have a flashy sense of style, but let's be honest, the real reason you use this skin is because of the music he plays. The Champion King. You think this is the greatest skin of all time, especially when it first released, you probably snatched it up immediately when you saw its custom sound effects and custom barbarians. The only regret you have is not using Code Seth when buying him, but no more. Code Seth is now available and it helps immensely in supporting this channel. So anytime you buy a hero skin, think of me and enter Seth in the creator code slot. Thank you so much. The Fierce King. You're a simple person when it comes to cosmetics. The only thing you really care about is a skin's design. You don't care about fancy animations or fancy sound effects. You just really like the design of the Fierce King or your Oni, and of course you're gonna use your own skin. The Golem King. You love the extreme. This skin is abnormally large and that's why you like it. You like to feel like your king is doing more damage than he actually is. And the Golem King does that because of how big he is. You also main the Giant Gauntlet because well, it's obvious why. The Jungle King. You like really, really weird skins. The Lunar King. You love Kung Fu Panda, and therefore you like the Lunar King because he is also an animal who does Kung Fu. The Painter King. You care more about aesthetics than you care about three-starring every single attack, which means you probably use the Painter King with the Barbarian Puppet because you love to see the Bob Ross Barbarians, and that matters more than using the better equipment. The Pixel King. You probably haven't spent a dime on Clash of clans and this is the only skin you own. The Primal King. Apparently you still like this skin enough to be using it, but you're hoping that Supercell fixes the eyes soon so that you don't have to keep looking at its face like this for much longer. The Rogue King. You actually appreciate the design of this skin and probably get teased by all your Clash friends for using the Rogue King but you also just don't care. The Warrior King. You actually don't like the Warrior King, but the Warrior set is your favorite set and you're somewhat of a perfectionist who can't stand an incomplete hero skin set. So you put up with the underwhelming design of the King just so that you can use the Warrior skins. Now, what does your Queen skin say about you? The Autumn Queen. Your favorite season is Autumn. You love the fall design and put up with the atrocious remodel of her eyes. The Har Hunter Queen. You're probably an eight year old girl. The Ice Queen. You don't feel obligated to buy the latest and greatest. You're content to use something a little bit older, but still really solid. The Ice Skin is one of the oldest skins in Clash of Clans, but she still holds up as a great gold pass skin option. The Painter Queen. You love wonky physics in Clash of Clans, and the real reason you use this skin is mainly because of the animation when she magically rolls on her paint roller. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's what's cool about it. The Party Queen. Does anyone actually use this skin? The Primal Queen. Please tell me you don't use this skin. The Spooky Queen. Halloween is your favorite holiday. The Warrior Queen. You bought the Warrior Queen when you first saw her in the shop so that you could flex on your friends that you had a legendary skin. You thought that when people looked at your profile, they'd know how rich you were because you could afford to spend $10 on a skin in a mobile game. What does your Warden skin say about you? The Champion Warden. You love the Champion set through and through, so much so that you don't mind the unique design of his flat helmet. The Painter Warden. You like skins that are slightly out of the ordinary. You're probably a Ghostbusters fan, and you also like the little tune that plays when you select the Painter Warden. The Party Warden. You're a hyperactive extrovert, and you're always the life of the party. Some players find the shouting of the Party Warden annoying, so if you use this skin, you either love his sound effects or you play with your sound off. Off. The Pirate Warden. You don't take things too seriously and you like a bit of humor in your skins. The parrot accompanying the Warden is mainly what attracted you to this skin. The Summer Warden. Summer is definitely your favorite season. You love going to the beach and probably have worked as a lifeguard in your life. Or maybe you just got saved by a lifeguard and feel obligated to use this skin. What about your Royal Champion skin? The Champion's Champion. You love the design of the Champion skins, but could never spend $10 on a skin, so you were happy when they released her as a Gold Pass skin. The Future Champion. You probably always use the Spirit Fox paired with your Champion, and when you realized that the Future Champion matched the Fox perfectly, you started using it immediately. This shows that you have an attention to detail and probably spend more time than the average person matching your outfits perfectly. The Jolly Champion. Your mom 
gave you $10 for Christmas to spend on Clash of Clans, so you decide to buy the newest legendary skin. Now you're stuck with a green elf who's eaten enough cookies to affect her voice box, and the skin doesn't even match the rest of the set. The party champion. You probably like rap and lived in the 80s. That's why her style and music appeals to your taste. The primal champion. You probably have this skin selected with some other random skins, not the primal skins, because you think it's the only good skin in the primal set. The shadow champion. You're probably a Mortis main in Brawl Stars and wanted to find the closest thing to him in Clash of Clans. What if you have any skin in one of these sets? The chess skins. You're either a grandmaster who plays this as a symbol of your skill, or you're a wannabe chess player who just thinks they look cool. The clockwork skins. It takes someone with a unique taste to like the clockwork skins as they're either loved or hated. So if you're someone who uses them, then you probably often stand out in friend groups as having a different opinion than everyone else. The goblin skins. You're obsessed with the clash IP and you absolutely love the fact that they gave a skin to their heroes that is also one of the most iconic troops in the Clash universe. The League skins. You're either completely maxed out or you care about cosmetics way more than progression because you sacrificed all your time and effort for months in CWL attacks to afford one of these skins. And you'd like to be the owner of the most exclusive items. You're willing to sacrifice a lot in order to have things that the average person couldn't get their hands on. What does your builder base skin say about you? The armored machine. This is probably the only skin you have in the builder base and you're probably the same person who has the Pixel King selected. Don't take this video too seriously, it's all for fun. And here's another video to watch that I think you'll enjoy.